Old School, Norman Castles. So, our first question today is, what were the first castles like? The first castles the Normans built were Mott and Bailey castles. The word Mott meaning mound of earth and the word Bailey meaning enclosed. Here is what the first Mottle and Bailey castles would have looked like. The first ones were made out of wood because it was easy to find and quick to build. They were built less than five metres high, their castle was easy to get into if there was a rebellion because they would need to take their horses up the steep slopes. At the bottom of the mop was the bailey. It was where the English people would live so they could work for the king and the earl. A strong wooden fence called a palisade surrounded the building. The bailey was surrounded by a ditch called a fosse. Windsor Castle was the first Mott and Bailey castle in England. So, we've learned what the first Mott and Bailey castles were like. Now, let's have a look at what the advantages were about Mott and Bailey castles. The Mott and Bailey castles were quick and cheap to erect, so many took a couple of weeks. The huge mott with its timber tower on the top gave the defenders an advantage because they had the high ground. The bailey was designed so that any point on its circumference would be in bow shot of the tower, so if anyone was causing trouble, the soldiers could shoot them. And what were the disadvantages of Mott and Bailey castles? Wooden castles were not very strong. The wooden structures caught fire easily. The stone was much stronger. So, from around 1100 onwards, people began to build castles out of stone. Why was stone used to build castles? When people started using stone, they went from looking like this to looking like this. The methods of attacking improved over time, so the castles needed to be stronger. Mott and Bailey castles improving to stone castles, stone castles also improved too. Stone castles came the rectangular keep and from the rectangular keep came the rounded keep. The rectangular keep had rectangle towers around the building. The rounded keep was the same except with round towers. Now I'm going to do a little bit of case study on Colchester Castle. Colchester Castle. Colchester has the largest keep in the United Kingdom and the largest surviving keep in Europe. The Normans actually built the castle over the ruined Roman temple of Claudius, built when Colchester was first the Roman capital of Britain. They incorporated the base of the temple to the foundations of the Great Tower. Colchester and the White Tower at London were built to a similar plan, both with an absidal extension. However, Colchester's corner turrets are more pronounced and its main staircase is the largest diameter mule staircase in Britain, measuring 5 metres across. It is thought that the castle was originally a single storey as it is possible to see the traces of crenellation in the walls. It could be during construction it was required to be defended at such short notice and was fully crenellated and then when the danger had passed, work on the other floors was restarted. So let's have a look at how the castles changed. So here is what they started off like. This is the Mott and Bailey castle. The soldiers lived at the top of the mott in a keep. However, because it was made of wood, it fell down easily. And that's a wooden fence. And peasant houses were where the peasants lived and worked for the soldiers and gave them food. However, here's the stone castle, the rectangular keep, keeps, keep is a stone castle with four rectangular turrets, which makes it much more sturdy, and the stone wall were much stronger than a wooden fence, and the peasants still lived in the middle there. Thank you for watching.